Okay, back to Minnesota. That's where I practice now. That's where I was born and raised. Started up practice again and started doing chiropractic again. And just studying a rife. I actually had the rife machine that I wanted picked out and, and everything that I wanted. I just did not have you know, permission to buy it. At that time, they were a lot more expensive than they are now. And uh, then a patient came to me. I had a very busy practice. She was just terrified. She goes, I got to talk to you right now. Okay, brought her in the room. She goes, I have breast cancer. It's the most aggressive kind that you could get. It's in both breasts. And they said, if I don't do chemo and radiation, I'll be dead in three months. And I said, you're telling me this. Why? And she said, because I don't know who else to go to. And she goes, you don't know this, but my friend died of the chemo five months ago. I nursed her through it. And um, it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm not doing it. So if you can't help me, I'd rather die. And I just knew right then, you know, I don't hear the voice of God audibly very often <laughs> that I admit to. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I just knew right then that I was, it's like, you're buying a rife. I just said, Char, I'm buying a rife. I know you have no idea what that is. You're just going to have to go with me on this. And uh, I need you to come down three times a week, and we're going to do this on you. She lived an hour and a half from my office. She came down three times a week. That was 13 years ago, March. She's still alive today. And it was because of the rife and what I, little I knew. I knew a lot about nutrition compared to other doctors, but I, about cancer, I didn't know a lot about cancer at all. And then eventually God sent us another cancer patient and another cancer patient. And literally, you know, five years later, now we're getting like two or three cancer patients. It, wasn't, it was just kind of a trickle because God knew that I would have probably ran the other way. And, uh, and then I finally thought, oh my gosh, what if I'm doing something wrong, you know? So I went back to school, got an AMA fellowship in functional medicine and integrative cancer therapy. And that's the majority of what we do now.